I just I heard want that, a warmer uh, in the fucking studio. I heard that uh, Dave Couillet's in it, though, as himself. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it's not yes. about her. I cheated on her. Yeah, the Heelys. For the record, she did not go down on me in a theater. Cut yeah. it out. Cut it later. <laughs> you know what I have? <laughs> hey, yeah. Rocky. You can only I go never got my dick sucked in a movie theater. Yeah, you can only go down on someone if they have... Wood? <laughs> <laughs> Did somebody say wood? And he goes, oh, look who it is. All right, I gotta get out of here. Dave Coulier, everyone. <laughs> oh, shit. Can you please put on Dave Coulier comedy? I don't think I've ever watched it. I've never watched it before. You've seen him live? You've seen the Cools live? I've never seen Dave Coulier's <laughs> comedy for one Let second. Let's fucking go. I got chocolates. I'm ready to watch. <laughs> <laughs> you got movie snacks? Uh, does anybody have any there's popcorn some corn with fucking Does anybody have any gluten free fried cheeses? Uh, yeah. You know what he did you know what joke he did where I thought I was like, is this a joke, but it was the um the who's gonna build it joke about the wall. He stole that from Ari Shafir, too? <laughs> <You know? laughs> oh, but what, what, Rogan better after, go fuck him up. It was yeah. after that it already happened. That's and great. he came in and he just did that joke too. Well it's vacant now, isn't it? Yes it is. He goes <laughs> Oh, uh, who's going to be that wall? Is it wood? He goes, hop, 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 Wow. This is from, uh, when is this from? 2014? No. No, that's when it was uploaded. This looks old. I don't like that they call him an American stand-up comedian. He's Canadian. I promise you it wasn't worse back then. Oh, boy, the 90s, huh? Yeah, it looks huh? like 2003 <laughs> from Just for Laughs. Wait. They do have a, the same they have a Where Are They Now with Dave Coulier, though, on Oprah. I'm down to watch that. Let's get it. Look at that good 2003. One. Yeah. Okay, roll. Oh, Montreal! <laughs> Only one of my ears wants to hear it. Yep. Come on, cut it out. Oh. Hey. Oh, you did it? You really opened with it? I, I missed it. I missed the thing. Yeah, I, I was getting a soda. Uh, did I miss the thing? You missed the thing. What dude? happened? Why didn't you fresh. tell me it was coming out? I don't know. Maybe his album should be called Fresh Out the Box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you go see Dave Coulier's new special, Out of a Cannon? We go, dude, he starts in sixth gear, doesn't slow down. <laughs> he gets a running start. <laughs> Comes out on fire. Dude, Back it up right to the beginning, Christine. My oh, are you ready? San Antonio for a lifetime. Dave Collier. Col Hello, Montreal! Oh, you're welcome. This is a gala. Come on, cut it out, hey? Come on. Force, first pitch, forcing Wait, fastball. Hey. Just wants to show you what kind of what he's working with. He just wants to let you know the power he's got. Dude, this is what Canada wants. I did that on Full House, of course. He's, he's a Canadian. Yeah, no, I don't, that's what I said. Is, I don't like that they listen to him as an American This is what Canadian. they want. Yeah. And uh, people get it wrong all the time. They'll come up to me in airports and stuff. They're like, hey, Dave, knock it around. Uh, really? First yeah. job I ever got in show business was doing voices on the cartoon Scooby-Doo, uh, which is really cool. cool. Yeah, that was really a lot of fun. And I remember I was so excited. Was Dan, it's always funny. Dan always wants to watch these things, and he does want to watch them. But then he gets very introspective. I know why. <laughs> Dan is a real... This is the graveyard of what somebody with his talent could become if you're not also world class funny, dude. You dude, just had an dude. HBO, but you're world class funny. I know, but you don't remember that. But I, every time I watch you, you always start. You go, dude, this is gonna be so great. And you watch a guy like I did voices on a cartoon, yeah. and I do this voice and that voice, and then and you can go. also do their voices, go, like, and you go, go, you go, is this where I am? Is this where I am, dude? That's but just you know, that's what I feel whenever I see any fat comic who's morbidly obese has nothing to do with their level of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I just go, that's what I look like, dude, and that is my problem. Every time they do the slow roll no joke into a voice where he goes that was pretty cool you can imagine that situation we we'll probably have a lot of voices <laughs> like this hey kid what are you doing and everyone's like yeah <laughs> like he's got no jokes up until he just does the voices that first day and I walked in and they're standing behind their microphones were Scooby and Shaggy Don Messick and Casey Kasem just watching them work it was it was like they were reenacting my childhood right before my very eyes like look Scoob let's run like now yeah, let's get out of here Maggie <laughs> and as I sat there watching them work I thought to myself you know what I have finally achieved my goal <laughs> professional immaturity oh. 
Now we have Homeland Security down what? in the U.S. We have, what the you know, fuck? What the fuck? Was Sick I, transition. Whoa, whoa, Byron Allen. What's going on with Homeland Security? Professional whacker doodle. You ever paint a house? <laughs> he goes, uh, professionally immature. You guys like art? He goes, you know what I am? I'm just a regular old class clown. The opiate addiction's uh, grabbing a lot of people's <laughs> lives. Because right into Homeland Security? He goes, what if he just goes, he goes, Homeland Security, and he goes, they got this TSA pre check, these fat black bitches. Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's going, whoa, cool, yay. He goes, what are we, who, what are we stopping guys in pajamas? Cool, yay. <laughs> cool, yay. Cool it out. <laughs> <laughs> We should have Scooby and Shaggy work at the oh. airport sniffing for drugs. Yes. Because if anybody's going to find some weed, it's that Shaggy dude. Oh. Like, what's that, Scoob? Rarara. Yeah. Grab some for us, good buddy. See you in the van. Yeah, that's Scooby Snacks. <laughs> they have to show elderly My favorite cartoon that. character is Bullwinkle. Bullwinkle Moose. I love Bullwinkle. Yeah. I'm going to do some Bullwinkle Moose. Is what you what if I... Yep. Up uh, and what? I, I, I want to go back to the audience and show those same. What if? Here comes. Here it Wait, comes. It was all. It was all like old couples. You know, every time they go back, it'd be funny if they're like dressed less and start making out more. Oh, like, yeah. like, they're getting all wound oh, up. She, like, dude, cool. Yeah, get some you, going. You see the woman just frantically rubbing over the slacks <laughs> of the old man. He goes, "That's it. That's it." Yes. Yes. Hey. yes. Remember Bullwinkle? Oh God! Imagine if Bullwinkle and Rocky <laughs> went somewhere. What if they were at the grocery store? Ooh, Bullwinkle. I love voices I know put in situations I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it almost makes me forget that my son's a homosexual. <laughs> rub me. Rub me, Edna. <laughs> you want it? You want it, Charles? He goes, oh. You want me to do it? You like watching the man from the TV oh, while I rub you? What if Popeye... Do you love it? What if Popeye worked in aircraft traffic control? <laughs> Over here. <laughs> yeah, dude. He's just getting him goosed. Uh, what if that bullwinkle voice was your real speaking uh. voice? Wouldn't that be horrible? Mm -hmm. Hey, Al, how was your night last night? My God, I got hammered. <laughs> oh, shots of Jägermeister. What I was also, I thinking? I nonstop at myself on stage, which I know has got to be very annoying. But when I watch other comics do it, I hate it, especially on something as cheese nuts as, like, he has been doing this Bullwinkle impression since, since he was five years old. Since the 70s. <laughs> yeah. Then the same setups since he was seven. Yes. So he goes, he goes there's, there's oh, no man, evolution. I hammered. He goes, can you believe I'm, can you believe you were doing this? He goes, ah, oh my God, I'm doing the voice. But he's, he's, tr he's drunk. He was like, pass drunk. That and somebody before their impression. Turning around? No. Like, That's always like my favorite. Breaking. Oh, like. No, like, no, no. No, I mean, like, they can't, like, you got to give me a second with this. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, the whatever it is. I, I mean, I don't do my good. The only time I've ever like, broken like Charlie Sheen. He go, remember Charlie Sheen came out with the Tiger Blood thing. He'd go, uh, could you imagine if if he was talking to the Pope when he did that? He goes, hey Pope, uh, guys, you guys gotta let me get guys, through this. Guys, yeah, the crowd's like laughing a little bit. They go, guys, guys, come on, okay. Hey, Pope. hang, on. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna What's get crazy it. Crazy is when you work. like you can get it immediately. What's crazy <laughs> is when you work with a comic and they do that every show, and so you see it. Yes. Like the third show. Oh. Like, you Pulling back the sociopath. Curtain. <laughs> Pulling back the curtain. I used to be so against laughing at myself on stage that one time Jason Kanner was like, dude, at least smile. You don't look like you're having fun on there. I was like, hey, this is my jokes. Merkface, how do you feel that we just discovered you stole most of your jokes from Dave Coulier? You were doing the Bullwinkle. I, I thought Bullwinkle hungover was yours. Yeah. Hungover Bullwinkle? Yes, Merkface. <laughs> it's my bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, this is from 2003, so, I mean, check the stats. <laughs> Were you touring with Coulier ever? <laughs> was, I used to, I opened for him a couple of times. I mean, maybe, maybe like, you know, parallel thinking. <laughs> By the way, the worst insult in you stealing from Dave Coulier is that you have parallel thinking with him. <laughs> you go, you, go see, you see Merck face at the cellar, and he goes, guys, great to be here. Cut it out. A lot of people. Cut it out. Still hungover. His tongue was incredible. We've all been a cartoon character, every one of us here tonight. I'm going to remind you when it happened. You went out, you partied, went to bed. Next morning, your friend called you early, too early, woke you up. You answered the phone, and you sounded just like Elmer Fudd. Hello. <laughs> and we never admit to the other person that we just woke up. We all lie. Oh, no, you didn't wake me up. I've been up for a long time. I, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I feel, uh, I feel great. Yeah, yeah. How, uh, 
How was your night, Al? My God, I got hammered. I got hammered. After you do this, you should, like, pull, like, nonstop fucking tissues out of your mouth or whatever, the handkerchiefs out of your mouth. It's, like, it's such... It's so cheese. Are they really you buckling? Should, are they buckling over like that for real? Coulier should have to drive around in a car with his laminate over the car, like you know clowns and <laughs> shit do. That's the level yeah. of this comedy is. I mean, it, it, genuinely, it's, it's, this is jokes you would do like at a kid's birthday party. It really is where you go, and it's like, and one of the parents would go, but it's you know, there's also some jokes for the parents in there. Yeah, he goes <laughs> hammered. <laughs> these kids don't know. <laughs> these kids, these kids think too much juice is a problem. He goes, then Dave Coulier took me in the back and uh, said, said, he said my child was adorable and then pulled his cock out and hit me in the face with it. He goes, and then he asked, will I go down him in a theater? Because I ring, 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 <laughs> My girlfriend and I do the predator handshake now when I come back from being on the road. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I go, I go, why not just use the military? Because someone said you were the best. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Dylan! You son, son of, of a, a bitch. bitch. <laughs> What's the matter? The grip. CIA got you pushing too many pencils. And then we kiss. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> and there we go. When I come home uh, every time on the weekend, I look at Christine from across the room, and I whisper to an imaginary person, I go, left boot. And then I pretend that she has a, I go, what are you doing here? And she goes, she goes, what do you mean? I live here. And then I go, you're too stupid to have a good time. And then I beat the shit out of her. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> she cool. Doesn't know, she doesn't know the scene, so she doesn't say the right thing. She doesn't get it right. She's uh, supposed to see, uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I go, drinking, having a good time. She goes, Who's it drinking having a good time? <laughs> You're too stupid to have a good time. Yeah, just, what, what are we doing? <laughs> Jay, are just you doing, drunk? Just doing one side of a movie scene, the other person's not agreeing on that ends in physical violence is hilarious. <laughs> so funny. It ends funny. in a fight. <laughs> yeah. She's like, excuse me? I said, what are you doing here? I live here. You're she too goes, stupid oh, to have okay, a good Okay, well, it's good to have you home. Drinking and having a good time. Yeah. Just, Who's drinking and having a good time? You're too stupid, stupid to have, have a good a time. time. <laughs> Let's see how uh, Coulier wraps up. Uh oh. Someone was talking. Oh, are you? <laughs> yeah. Could it have gotten worse? Oh, my God. Uh, voice. You a musician, what do you think? Huh? I mean, I thought that was pretty good. I Jesus, I'm the kind of ass the wrong shit. Did it. Nailed it. You guys are like, no, that wasn't all that great. Oh. Hey there, Dave. I love African music. That's my oh, favorite. Boy. It just has you know, the, crowd is, the crowd is like, hold on, this fucking, it's like a Kirkland brand crowd. I don't know how to describe it. Like, he, whatever they do, they clap because he forces them to clap basically because I could be a musician couldn't I and they, they clap and go big and he goes you guys are all like no you couldn't be a musician that wasn't very good at all he's like and if he the, just moves on like, he's like why are the, you wasting everyone's time with words he's like if the kid from Twilight Zone that could think everything became a stand-up comedian and the whole crowd is like dude, dude you just fucking go with this please oh, see, he won't stop he'll make a stop. giant rabbit come out of a hat with it's, evil oh god it'll eat half the audience and I can't that I if can't. you don't laugh at the little rabbit He's going to make it a demon rabbit. <laughs> Dude, he busted it out. He's going to do African music. This might be a problem for old Coulier. Rhythm to it. It's so different from any other kind of music that gets produced. It's just that. Well, I am on that. Yes, I'm on Well, I am on you're welcome to slavery. Good night. Dave hey. Coulier, Alski. I'm a, a Excuse me? I'm sorry, what was it? Sing for you guys, fell? 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 Sing for you guys, fell
Where you your phone? <laughs> <laughs> it never gets old. It doesn't get old. Same. Same. Bridge Gumpo? <laughs> Do we have any more Coulier stand up? That can't be the only clip. I want to see his where are they now? Because it's Oprah talking about his best impressions, and it's going to be those five. Yeah, I mean, those are them. Yeah, Bullwinkle, uh, Popeye. Popeye. <laughs> um, wow. What's it, Elmer Fudd? Well, just for that one sentence of waking up in the morning. Hold them as I wait. Mister, are you a deep coulier? <laughs> this is day. Why are you doing African music? He goes, oh yeah, that was funny. <laughs> you think that is funny? You are a funny man. Uh, I'm gonna start telling uh, people that Dan, if if I mean everybody knows, I me mean, definitely knows you. But I, if I wouldn't find one person who doesn't, I go. I do a radio, well, not one part, it was like when someone doesn't know me or, and I tell we have a radio show, yeah. I go, I really, a lot of people say my radio partner is the American Dave Coulier, so if oh, that gets you on board and all. Dude, White Winslow, a.k.a. the American Coulier. What American Coulier. Wait a second, is this people going to see his stand-up and being all jazzed and jacked? Oh, Is this an illegal video of someone getting ready? Oh. Wait, 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 Stop everything else we're doing. Yeah. Yeah, uh, here we go. I think this is a YouTube video, I, I'm guessing. All right, let's do it. Of... Uh, who's uh, Ali Rucker posted this? Who is she? Is she a comic? It might be a comic. No. Um, Went to see one of my idols for the first time. He was terrific. Dave Coulier from Full House of Stand Up Comedy in Stewart, Florida. Brought my friend to her 18th birthday too, and she loved him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this Let is her rip. This is good. So, where are we going? Well, we're going to Stewart. We're going to Stewart. Yeah, you know, whatever. We're just going to Stewart. Nothing special. But we're going to see Uncle Joey. We're going to see Dave Coulier. <laughs> Joey, Joey, Joey. If I was, if I was in the... <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he looks like he's he looks like a drunk uncle. Dude, I love it. He's fucking. I don't know, man. What do you want to see, Bullwinkle? You dumb young bitches. Hey, you dumb bitches don't know what Bullwinkle is. Yes, yeah, you guys want to know who a real woman was? DJ Tanner. That was a real <laughs> woman. You stupid young bitches. Fucking idiots. Is your mom know. hot? Does she have booze? Tell her to come over. Who's whose mom's got money in her purse? You girls partying back at like a sorority house or anything later? I'll hang. Who are we <laughs> going Dave to... Coulier just going to your sorority party now? It's fun. Yeah. What's up? They go, oh my God, are you really Uncle Joe? He goes, in the flesh. <laughs> how, about, uh, how, about, how about we do a couple uh, glasses? Of, how about we do a couple shooters and you give me a Kimmy Gibbler? <laughs> He's like, what's that? He's like, it's when you eat my butt until you won't leave me alone. Yeah, if you were an old lady, I'd get a Kimmy Gummer. Yeah. Gumbler. Give me a Kimmy Gummer. <laughs> Well, you know, <coughs> I've been watching Full House my whole life since, you know, I was, you know, since I was a, baby. A, a baby bop. Yeah. So he's like my. What if they start doing blow in the car? Yeah. It's just, it's just like real trash. Oh, they start doing the scene from Boogie Nights where they go, I don't want to leave this car. You want to leave this car? She goes, All right, outside shot, Tiffany fucks Dave Coulier. I don't know what he's into. <laughs> yeah. We're going to throw it at him hard. I honestly. Hard. Mm, hold on. Let me put that. Let me get that gummer. <laughs> I don't want to waste all of this. Anyways, we got is to still, Is that notebook stuff? Hang on. I know this girl. I know this girl, Janet. She works at Twin Peaks. She said he <laughs> came in hammered. She's a tilted, she's a tilted kilt girl. And she said he comes she's in hot, hammered. She's young. She's fresh. She's fun. She's party. She likes party. I like to party. We all party. We party. Party, party, party. She's not tight. Everything's... She's rad. All right. Let's just... I mean, I think we're going to have to jump around here a little bit. <laughs> All right, now they're out to eat pregame. Uh, we're getting you food. We asked them to put a candle in her pizza. So, oh, you did? And we're going to sing, right? Nice. Who the fuck is that guy? Go tonight. Go tonight. tonight. Their dad brought them to see Kate Dave Coulier. See you at the theater soon. Thanks for theater. All right, well, he's selling better than us. Huh? He's selling theaters. Buddy, buddy. Look at the marquee of that theater. Look at the door, front door of it. Oh, this dude, is, uh, this look is, at his profile picture. I'm telling picture. you, by He's the way, running. I think, by the way, I'm not exaggerating, that might be one of those, like, it's a small, uh, like, movie theater that plays, like, the movies afterwards. Got it. And he's doing a show. It, it, it could be that. It's before you get too excited. Theater is vague. You're right. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm favorite. She's like the Silver Dome. Like, oh, well, you can't mistake that. That's the Silver Dome. Yeah, yeah he's doing Casey Spaz comedy. Dan Coulier! 
Casey Inspaz. And they're doing the wrestling thing, and they like that. <laughs> She's so amped up. He's got a Red Wings jersey on. He stays in character. Oh, Jesus. Kiss my pussy. <laughs> this girl's excited. This girl loves Dave Kuyashi. Kiss my pussy. Oh, yeah, Dan. Yeah. yeah, I see what it is. Look from stage to back, buddy. Look at the projection booth up there. Yeah. Kicking off the series here. And now, Stuart, thanks for coming out tonight. That's cool. Your portion of the show is over, Casey. Put it. Trying to hog my time for crying out Well, it's so nice to be here. Look at it, boy. Dude, what if she's here. over it? What if this video shows her get over his comedy? By the end, she, she goes, goes is, I've this, made it. is it really just doing the same fucking thing from before? Sometimes you think you know somebody, <laughs> and then you see enough of them, and then you realize you've really seen all of them, and he, then you know you don't want to be with them. He answered my letter. I don't know what to say about this. He put cum in an envelope. <laughs> gave him an envelope he and gave it to me. And he squished it against my chest and he said, I just came on your chest. <laughs> wow. 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 Uh oh. Did I just put cum on your chest? <laughs> <laughs> do the, uh, do the uh, what? Uh, <laughs> did you know what cum comes from? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, we can go down a dark <laughs> Dave Coulier. All right, jump around a little bit. See what else. See. Oh, she's just straight up recording. Well, I, want hear, I want to hear some of his comedy. Now I don't like her because she's just recording. Oh, he opens with it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Packed airport. <laughs> you got to picture this. People everywhere, and this guy's running towards me, yelling this out. Dave, Joey. <laughs> And he's running towards me, and all I can think is, I hope this guy doesn't have a chainsaw. He looks nuts. What? So he stopped in front of me, and he goes to do my cut it out thing back to me, but he completely botched it up. So he's like, hey, man, knock it around. That happened Dude. 15 years apart? Dude, he did that. Did that. He did the same joke. Oh, that's a bummer. That is a bummer, Wait. man. It's a bummer, Now man. I need him back to back. Yeah. Now I need to hear him back to back. Oh, How those go? Let's break these sets down. You, hey, man, knock it around. He goes, he goes just yesterday that happened. Just, just yesterday that happened. He's, he's putting it down. <laughs> you said that joke uh, in 2003. Uh, in Montreal at the gala. So, <laughs> Dude, him doing his set list backstage, he goes, he goes, I'm going to do knock it around. <laughs> knock it around, man. Yes, cut it out. Cut it out. Knock it around. He's not even doing the, he's, he's, he's not even selling the uh, hang loose fingers anymore. Here we go. Out, hey. Come on. Come on, cut it out, hey. You know, I used to say that on the show. I, I did that on Full House, of course, and uh, people get it wrong all the time. They'll come up to me in airports and stuff. And they're like, hey, Dave, knock it around. He didn't have time for the whole thing. This guy, by the, by the way, that guy, here's a th everyone got it wrong the same way. This guy just uh -huh. hey Dave him. The other guy was barreling through an airport, hopefully without a chainsaw. More set up. Double hail Hitlers, too? Take a picture of that. Yeah. Let's start some rumors about this guy. Double hail, he loves Hitler twice as much. Yeah. He goes, I think it's, I like, I want a sixth Reich. Two hails are, two, <laughs> two hails are twice as nice. <laughs> hey, Dolph. Hey, hey, double Dolph. <laughs> I give you a double I do a pretty, I do a pretty big, uh, I do a pretty good Adolf, but yeah. like, people don't like what I have to say. <laughs> it's White Supremacist Radio. After the top of the hour, we're doing and a double Dolph. We're getting the Dolph out. Get that Dolph out. <laughs> double A Dolph. <laughs> First is his Munich speech, and then from Berlin in 1938. <laughs> Cut it out. That was my catchphrase on the show. That uh, that follows me everywhere I go, and uh, people love to do it back to me all the time, and it's a riot. <laughs> <laughs> And people get it wrong, too. That's embarrassing, trying to correct someone, you know, doing cut it out. I, and I don't know when someone's going to spot me. I was making a flight connection in Chicago, and uh, some guy spotted me, packed airport. <laughs> you got to picture this. People everywhere, and this guy's running towards me, yelling this out. Dave! Joey! <laughs> Is that true, man? And he's running towards me, and all I can think is, I hope this guy doesn't have a chainsaw. He looks nuts. <laughs> 
Here it comes. So he's stopping in front of me, and he goes to do my cut it out thing back to me, but he completely botched it up. So he's like, hey, man, knock it around. <laughs> You got it! <laughs> like somehow I was gonna mess up my own bit that I've been doing for decades. And then he was just staring at me and I didn't quite know what to say. He's just kind of like this. And then all of a sudden he blurted this out. He's like, dude, you were kind of fat on Full House. Come on. Yeah, what do you even come back with after that, you know? Well, a mullet tends to add about 10 or 15 pounds. I don't know what to tell you. I'll tell you what, if this ends with her and them in his hotel please, room. Dude, please, <laughs> please go forward to see if there's anything. We're about to fucking, we were able to ditch my dad. We're about to go in a fucking cool room. Just, room. Just Everything's my crazy. drunk ass dad got us a room at Red Roof Inn because he wanted to fuck the bartender in the airport. Was, I don't know. So he's hanging out with this girl, Darlene. And then, wait, no, Christine, I want to see his closer, first yeah, of all. Yeah, we're not leaving him without his closer. You think these girls stopped filming for one second of this show? Hey, Christine, I know you're moving over. I want to see Casey and Spaz come out. Yeah, hey, uh, Christine, I know you're trying to move forward, but cut it out. Dude, it's going to be a, it's gonna be actually playing harmonica. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Crafty pants. Speed and all that they want. He's you killing. Know, I, I He's already, killing. By the way, pause it. Pause it, though. I can already tell you. I He's didn't even killing. see the end of the joke. Do you know what that joke was he was just doing? I've never seen this comedy before in my life. Sure. You know what he was doing, right? What? Something about telling somebody to drink dr drink and drive. Yeah, get out of here. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 back up. I bet I'm completely right. Law, cop pulls us over. He's like, where are you gentlemen coming from? Oh, officer, we were at the ball game. Have you been drinking? I gotta be honest, I had $32 worth of beer, and he was like, you can go. I go to the ballpark. Go on, crafty pants. Speed them all with your wine. What? Yeah, what Thanks, call him gay for his yeah. drinks. Yes. <laughs> you guessed it, y'all. Pause it. I want to get so successful that I can do a blues. I can produce a blues album for Dave Coulier. You think I won't, dude? I won't, I'm going to exclusively do Bruno music too. Fuck it, the return of Bruno, <laughs> Bruce <Yeah>. Willis. <laughs> if we got enough money to do Dave Coulier covering the return of Bruno, yeah, absolutely, the whole album, whole album, front to back, whole EP, whole EP, all 17 songs, including the bonus tracks. <laughs> Live in Asbury Park. <laughs> Coulier does, Coulier does Bruno doing, Coulier does Bruce Willis doing Bruno. Yeah, Coulier doing Bruno do it. Featuring Popeye. <laughs> jamming, jamming. This is his fucking, this is this is room sweeping hook shot of trying to get some pussy at the end of this show. So it ain't all Bullwinkle, bitches. Come get this blues dick. You know, so I'll be on the side of this movie theater, standing by the Transformers <laughs> poster. Okay, we saw Dave. He was, I've never had sex with a condo before, but he was so nice. He says he was so nice. I don't know that I do bad. My he, dad's so angry at me. He says even though he finished in my butt, it's not. Gonna, <laughs> it's gonna stop singing. She goes. She, he said if I could finish in him, the uncle he'd let me meet Uncle Jesse. And then there was no Uncle Jesse. I don't know what to do. He do you was think, so scared. Do you think when he calls Stamos, Stamos looks at his phone and just hits ignore? Absolutely. Goes, not today. Yeah, he goes. Oh, uh, and he goes to somebody else. They go, what's wrong? Johnny goes, cool, yay. <laughs> and just tosses the phone on the bed. He just cut that out. Ay, ay, ay. Ah, anyways. Hey, knocking around, right? Hey, yeah, you know what it's going to be. You know what it's going to be. I already know the phone call. I know uh, the phone call. If I pick up hey, his going to be? Hey, have you heard uh, about this? You know, any, any word about me getting some more he stuff goes, on that I heard Netflix Bob, thing? He goes, I heard Bob's sick. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Hey, just got the news. I heard Bob's sick, so. No, uh, Bob's not sick. It's no. just a fun excuses to call. No, we're not going to, we're not going to Comic-Con. <laughs> no, no, you're wrong. For Fuller House.